Hey, Brad Squad, every single New Yorker has their favorite spot for pizza. But what would happen if you brought some of the world's best pizzerias to one block in the Bronx? That's what I'm here to find out at New York's first ever New York Pizza Festival, hosted right here in the Bronx on Arthur Ave, what many New Yorkers consider the real Little Italy. Over 20 chefs from around the world have come here for this two-day celebration, and they're here to celebrate their craft and delicious pizza in all of its glory. Today, we're gonna talk to some of these lucky goers who get to taste all of this delicious pizza and the talented artisans who make it. I am here with Ciro from Cero Otto Nove. Hello, sir. How are you doing, how are you? Thank you so much for letting us interrupt you in the middle of your pizza making. How many pizzas have we banged out today so far? About 100. Woo! And how many do you think you've got left today? About another 75. Oh my god. So what brings you to the New York Pizza Festival? We were invited, you know, it was it's right down the block from where we are. We're located on Arthur Avenue, so, you know, just perfect fit for us. So Arthur Ave is considered the real Little Italy yeah, of New York, yeah. right? Is there extra pressure owning a pizzeria on Arthur Ave? I don't know if it's extra pressure. It's, uh, I, I, yeah, I guess, but more authentic to be yeah. tr true to the avenue to do it as well as you can. Yeah. What brings you guys to the first ever pizza festival today? We love pizza. That's a great reason. That's a great reason. Did you come yesterday too? No, no. Actually, we didn't hear about it till after the fact, so okay. we made sure to come here today. New York is considered the pizza capital of the U.S., if not the world. What's been your favorite slice so far? The Bronx pizza slice. Hey! <laughs> Let me guess, are you from the Bronx? Yes, we are. Yes, you are. Born in Naples, Italy, pizza made its way around the globe, but it wasn't until Neapolitan immigrants hit New York and revolutionized the pie to become what we know as pizza today here in America. The Italians know pizza. However, pepperoni is not the same in Italy. This is salame. Let's do this. We fold and bite, fold and bite. Those big old chunks of basil are so exciting. Mm, oh my God. I gotta be honest, no disrespect to any New Yorkers. Italians know sauce. God, do they know sauce. This is delicious. What makes your pizza the best pizza? Perché è speciale. Ah. Il cuore. Corn. 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 All hearts. Abbiamo 95 anni di esperienza. Non si vede, però ce l'abbiamo. Would you mind translating for us, Luca? He said that he's got 95 years of experience, the whole family. Not, they've been making pizza for 95 years. Oh my God, you guys. I do represent at the New York Pizza Festival, All Italia, that is an edible oil company that's one of the sponsors, actually, of New York Pizza Festival. We are introducing the markets uh, Brienne, that is a uh, high oleg on flower seeds oil plus uh, natural antioxidant uh, that's fried sugar that we decided uh, to make a fried pizza here in New York Pizza Festival and we sold out two days in a row. So actually as you see 20 minutes to go and we finished everything. <laughs> we are kind of feel sorry about that but on the other side we are very excited about that. It's like, oh, I'm sorry, but also we're yeah. so amazing. Exactly, yeah, kind of, you got it, you got it. Gino, what brings you to the New York Pizza Festival today? Born and raised in the Bronx. Okay. I'm running for the Justice of the Supreme Court, Bronx County, okay. and I am a pizza connoisseur. <laughs> a pizza connoisseur? What pizza makes you, what gives you those chops, Gino? I've had pizza, I would say, all around the world, okay. but the best pizza is right here in the Bronx. The best pizzas in the Bronx? The best pizzas in the Bronx. What makes Bronx pizza the best? The water, the sauce, the ingredients, the people. The people make the pizza. The main difference is the dough. Okay. So the ingredients of the dough are different. The fermentation, the hydration is different. And as well, the quality of the tomatoes you use, the mozzarella you use, and the garnishings. So the genuinity of the ingredients make all the difference. But mainly is the dough mm -hmm. as, uh, and how it's made, uh, the Napoletano pizza. That makes the whole difference. We are pizza lovers and she we is We travel crazy. far and wide for pizza. Okay, what's the best slice you've had so far, ever? The truffle with mushrooms was the best. For me, 
for me in uh, in Italy. Huh, but now there are some Italians here. Uh-huh. They are really very close to it. Some were good, some I didn't like. Okay, okay. And I can't remember because I ate so many. I'm <laughs> stuffed. That's a great problem to have. Uh, no, it's not. I, mean, I have to stuff. go home and I have to have a brioche. <laughs> no, it, now it's time for a nap. Yeah, we. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's true. That's very true. It's food coma time. Now, <laughs> let me ask you this: You guys have a deep love of pizza. Does that come because you guys are Italian? Where does that come from? No, we're not Italian. We're uh, originally New Yorkers, and okay. we're Jewish, but we love pizza. <laughs> <laughs> so let me ask you this. As I told you guys, we are an immigration show. What's your immigration story or your family's immigration story? My family is from Austria, okay. and they came here probably in the early 1900s. What about you, Brian? Uh, my family's from Germany. Okay. They came here when they were very little, and uh, we've been here since. My father was born in Calabria, Italy, and he came to this country in 1957. And when he arrived, uh, he ventured into the food business, started out opening pizzerias and then restaurants, um, had him in Greenwich Village, New York City, one in California, and then basically back in the Bronx. So he worked very hard and always stressed education mm -hmm. and was, uh, my sister and I were fortunate enough that he helped uh, put us through college and law school and um, now I'm running for judge, so trying to make my, my parents proud. Uh, do you feel... As a, as a first generation American, do you feel a little bit more pressure? I think it's self-imposed pressure. I think that, Absolutely. I think you want to make your parents proud. I think with um, with immigrants, they support you. Uh, they choose. They teach you work ethic. They teach you to be a good you know a good person, a good humanitarian, to be respectful to your neighbors. You know, need to do a good job of understanding one another and sharing our culture. So our kind of immigration has been such a long time that we don't feel really. Uh, a kind of immigration issue mm -hmm. now being Italian okay right. I cannot speak about others anyway in Europe uh, and in Italy as well uh, this is, has been a big topic right. so that we need anyway to discuss and immigration has been a trend that comes over a hundred of years so something that we need to deal with luckily I'm gonna come I'm gonna be a resident uh, in a few months this year yeah. but uh, I have to choose yet where to stay. Okay. Even the Big Apple is really tempting. But to be honest, I was as well in San Francisco and the West Coast the last uh, few months. It was not that bad. We are so glad that all of these artisans from all around the world, San Francisco, New York, Naples, could come together. And I think that the Bronx has decided that the best pizza is the Bronx pizza, but they might be a little biased. All right, Brad Squad, I have had so much pizza. I have had pizza handed to me. I have had pizza fed to me. We had some amazing immigration stories. Thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, Brad Squad. Thanks for watching. For more Brad Show Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.